A Better Queen based in Salt Lake City. Fast, free, in-home quotes done by experienced professionals with uncompromised quality. We take pride in the service we provide. We have products safe and eco-friendly. We exceed every expectation, so give us a call today. Owning a home is the American dream. I love my job because I get to help people buy, sell, and improve that American dream. Follow me this week as we explore exciting new trends in Utah's real estate. Hi, my name is Meg, although around here people like to call me Zippy Girl. And that's because my lair, my fortress of solitude as you might like to call it, is Zippy Shell of Utah. And what is Zippy Shell? I'm so happy you asked. Zippy Shell is an innovative, portable storage and moving company. It caters to businesses, families, individuals, and students of various needs and budgets. We'll bring a shell right to your place where you can load it up at your convenience, and then when you're ready, we'll pick it up from you. And then we'll store it in our climate-controlled warehouse, or we'll move it right to your new home, whether you're going down the street or across the country. Here's an example of the strength of our services. We had a family who wanted to move from one town to another here in Utah. Now their new house that was under construction hadn't been finished yet, but the house they were living in had already been sold. So Zippy Shell to the rescue! We took seven empty shells up to their house, loaded everything for them, and then took the shells back to our warehouse where we stored them for three months. When their new house was finally finished, we took the shells back to them, unloaded everything for them, and made what otherwise would have been a very difficult situation very easy. If you want to store with us, then we'll keep it in our climate controlled and secure warehouse where we'll wrap it and stack it. Whether you want it to be eventually returned to you locally in Utah, or if you're waiting until you're ready for us to move it to your out of state destination. And that's what Zippy Shell is. Portable storage and moving made easy. So give us a call at 385-269-9500 or contact us through zippyshellutah.com and just tell them Zippy Girl sent you. Okay, so this is a very unique home and I really couldn't do it justice. This is a, a turn of the century home that's gonna be completely remodeled. So I actually brought the, the builder, the remodel guy, I brought Urban, because I know Urban, you're gonna be able to tell us a lot more about this house than even I can talk about. So tell us a little bit about what you did here. Well, thank you. Yeah, as we, as we looked at the home and you kind of split down the middle, the left-hand part of the home, the left side of the home, other than that raised elevation is the original 1904 log home. We knew there were logs in it, but we didn't know to what extent. Uh -huh. So when we started to do the remodel, it got deeper and deeper because we kept finding more treasures and character to the home. The door on the left is the original front door, but we've now, the door now is, the front door is right here as we're going to enter. Yeah, it looks like a brand new home. You would have no idea, but as you walk inside, there's a magical surprise. Look at that. That is spectacular. Tell me about this and what you guys found. Okay, there you can see the logs that, that look nothing like they used to. They were covered up with two or three inches of lath and plaster and sheetrock and paneling and, and then dirty logs. We finally got down to that point. You can see the corners, how they're put together. That's the original 1904 corners, how they were dovetailed together. Um, and when we power washed and 
cleaned it and five coats of lacquer on the logs and professionally chinked all that uh, between the logs why uh, it really came together and gave it a lot of character. It really, it adds a ton of character to the realm and it looks like a brand new home, but these are turn of the century logs, which are, and you can't, I mean, the cost of trying to redo that. If you tried to do that right now, it'd be, it'd be astronomical. And so you get kind of the best of both worlds because you get a brand new house, got all new electrical, all new plumbing, and it's still got the history of the home. And, and so tell me a little bit about the kitchen, what you guys did here. Well, we have a, a wall, of course, uh, built out in front of the logs for the kitchen to mount, but it's a, you know, a little wraparound kitchen with an island. Uh, stainless steel features throughout. Um, we use brushed nickel every place. That ceiling you look at is a, a poplar ceiling that we've used that in other areas as well. And now you're looking into the you know the dining room, but the you know the character of the logs. I wanted to use as much of that character in as many rooms as possible. Uh, so we not only get that from inside the house, but when you step outside the original structure, you see some of that in the hallways, the office the laundry room as much as we can. Yeah, which is great. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at, it's almost 2,500 square feet with four bedrooms, three full baths. Uh, it originally was built in, of course, 1904, but it's been completely redone. And of course, the location here is amazing, right? Because we're right outside of Park City. We're in uh, uh, Heber, and this is Old Town Heber. So tell me a little bit about that area. Yes, it's on, uh, it's on 4th West, 400 West. So it's only three blocks from the city park. Um, which is also puts it about two blocks from what people call the Heber Creeper or the train over there. Yeah. You see some more of the logs in the office area. Uh -huh. And uh, it's in you know, Old Town. It's a, it's a neighborhood that has really been, uh, has had some homes built in it that have upgraded everything. I don't have mirrors in yet, um, but that is the main bath. There's the laundry room. Put cabinets in there to match the kitchen. And we use the uh, kind of a cream vanilla cabinet to go with the character of the home. Yeah. And some little uh, doors there, some uh, rolling doors. Okay, this is gonna be the headed up there. What's really cool about this area, if people know now, Heber is just outside of Park City. This house in Park City would be a multi-million dollar home. <laughs> And so just to step down into Heber, which is still a beautiful area, it, it enjoys all the same thing. You're just a couple minutes away from all the ski resorts and everything. This is a tremendous value, right? Yeah, I think it's uh, really nice. Now this, we're in the uh, upper bath, the main, the main upper level bath, and that cabinet you saw right there was a rolling cabinet that has a mechanical room behind it. Yeah, and now I notice as we go to the aerial view, you're going to notice there's another garage there behind. It's almost like a three car garage or like a little kind of storage area outside, A right? separate 200 square foot. Now you're looking to the west, you're looking out to the fields. It makes a real nice area. Time? You don't have time, but we do. We are someone who can call in to lend a hand. We are someone who cares for your family just as much as you do. We are Helping Hands Moving and Maids. And we will always be there to lend you a helping hand. Acclaimed Home Warranty gives you peace of mind knowing that the major systems and appliances in your home are covered against unexpected breakage and costly repairs. So you can enjoy what you love doing because our coverage options and easy process take the hassle out of finding quality contractors. When your covered items break and you need service fast, Acclaimed Home Warranty is here for you 24-7, 365 days a year. For a free, no hassle quote, go online to acclaimedhw.com. So Clay, the, the market's been appreciating a ton, but one of the dilemmas is these loan limits. Is mm -hmm. there anything going on with that? There has. You know, this is the first year in quite a long time that we've actually seen these loan limits increase, Jay. Uh, you know, for long, for years, almost two decades, we had that jumbo loan limit set at 417,000. And so basically, if you want to get an expensive home, this is the limit, the limit of the, the, the maximum amount that they'll allow you to purchase. That's right. With, under a certain interest rate, right? That's right. So on a conventional loan, whenever you go to jumbo, your interest rate's going to go up a little bit. Okay. and your program underwriting guidelines. You usually have to have a little bit more of a down payment. So 417 has been that. It hasn't moved up a ton, but it has moved up a little bit. We saw that go up to $424,100. 
And the nice thing about that is sometimes if you do have something a little bit over that amount, we can do a second that closes simultaneously. So you still get that same rate interest rate of the conventional loan, but you can add that second mortgage on the back of that and do oh, so the this difference. Is great. This so is basically, this sets you up. So if you want to buy a more expensive home, but you want to get that lower rate, yes. you can put that second mortgage in there and, exactly right. and still get the lower rate. Yes, yeah. And you just make sure that that jumbo, you can take it right up to the 424100 keep that under 80% of the purchase price. You have no mortgage insurance. We do a second mortgage that we close simultaneously at the exact same time. And it makes it so you can buy more house and your payment and interest rate are a lot lower and a lot more affordable as a result. Clay, so this one we're going to be heading up into the Heber Valley, which, uh, boy, you talk about one of the beautiful areas of Utah. Yes, yeah. You know, I grew up in southern Utah. I love that desert scape, but then I love Heber Valley. I really do. Every time I go in there, I love the setting, I love the culture, and, you know, this is a great property. Look at this right in that valley. It just wraps around, and this property just goes out forever, and it's got stables off the back, as you can see. Or I guess it's more like horse runs, I guess, is that what you call that? Uh -huh. What would you call that? You had horses. Yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, yeah, your your corrals there. Corrals. Yeah. Okay, there you're your your corrals. corrals for them. Place for all your, uh, your your trailers and stuff around mm -hmm. the back of the property, and then you still got plenty of grass. Yeah, this is this is you know you know my love for horses and horse yeah. property and my desire to have that, but this is a great setting right here, how they've done this right here. They kind of separated that horse area from the grass and the landscaping and the family area, but it's still super close by and very convenient uh, to work with. Nice yeah. in-ground trampoline, great aerial views, nice lines on the top of that roof line too. Yeah, so we're looking at on this one, uh, 1.33 acres, and look at those roof lines, just beautiful. They it's are. a spectacular property, but it sits back on this lot. I mean, when this lot became available, it must have been super desirable. Yeah. And headed in the inside, they spared no expense on this one. Look at it. Oh. You know, I love it. I love those the, the wood beams up there, the openness, the expansiveness, the way that that ceiling is, is done, the light streaming into it, that extra little window up there at the top, adding that extra touch of light, really warms up the room and just brightens it up. Yeah, we even got the TV on. We never see the TV on these houses, but <laughs> no. that's great. I add a little character. Yeah. I like it. Look at all the wood that they put in here, the beams. Okay, so on the inside, we're going to be looking at 5290 square feet with five bedrooms, four full and one half baths. It's got a four car garage and it's built in 2005 and as you can tell they they really put a lot of money into this those nice wood floors you know yeah and it gave us a shot just very how that opened up in that great room into the kitchen yeah i loved how that pulled in how that transitioned and the colors they used we'll see some more of that but yeah there we go right there, that. spectacular yeah i mean really uh, uh just they really somebody a builder whoever built this house really they didn't cut, yeah. they didn't, they didn't cut any corners whatsoever and you see that archway that kind of leads into it. It just makes a nice flow into that room from that from that family room, a great room, and it just goes right in. And the color contrast that they've used in here is, was done so well. Yeah. Yeah. Look at those appliances. I mean, mm -hmm. those are those are some high grade appliances oh, yeah. they put in there. Yeah. We see a lot of those, so we appreciate it when we see that. We know what those are. Oh, yeah, yeah right? Yeah, we yeah. know what that costs. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that costs. That yeah. costs a lot of money. It did. But they really put it on this house. And it's just beautiful work everywhere you go. And, and the Heber Valley is just super desirable. This is added in the master bedroom, which is on the main floor, which is really nice. And look at all the wood. I love that. And again, it kind of fits in with that style and that culture and that just the way the atmosphere up there in the Heber Valley. Yeah. And with the horse property. And just they kind of pulled this together with that type of property and the location. It was very well done. Yeah. So they decorated real well too. They I'm did. Impressed. Yep. Yeah. Lots of wood everywhere you look. And wood is one of the most expensive things to finish a house out in. It costs so much money because somebody has to somebody has to harvest it, they yeah. have to cut it, they have to stain it, then somebody has to install it. Then you oh man. Again, yeah, when we walk when we see homes like this, Jay, we automatically know the workmanship that's not in doing that. And the extra cost is going to be as well. Yeah, you, yeah. This is, uh, and you always talk about that price per square foot. And there's a, and you'll compare one house to another price per square foot. But the cost of building and with this kind of style and design and the 
kind of uh, stuff that they use in this house. I mean, it's it's off the charts. I mean, that door casing right there and the, and the molding that was put around that, it's just the extra touches that really make it make it that much nicer. Yeah, and the nice thing about Heber Valley, you're, you're kind of far away from it, but you're close to everything, and Heber's been growing uh, a ton lately. So this is going to be in their kind of great area down in the basement with kind of a family, kind of perfect for watching the game on the afternoon, yep. but still has the walk out into the backyard, and it's got the second kitchen, as you notice, off the back. Yep, and, and uh, again, you have to see those nice archways, kind of separating the rooms a little bit, kind of create some separation, but there's still that open, warm feel to it that you have um, as you go throughout the house. Yeah. I, look at this, they've got a built-in <laughs> safe. I love that. You're going to like that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tons of storage in this house also. And look at the size of the bedrooms. They didn't skimp on, on square footage at all. I mean, these are large rooms. Yeah, they are. Each I mean, one of these look like a master bedroom, really. I don't know how much space that type of event takes up. So to have that room still that big around it, it just tells, gives you an idea how nice yeah. and big that room is. And here's your deck off the back. And so it's perfect in the afternoon because it's got shade from the, the afternoon sun coming down. So you can have your little barbecue in the back. And and obviously your neighbor's houses aren't aren't lacking at all. I, look at, I mean, they've got some beautiful houses as well. You can saw the mountains there, you know, yeah. the mountains around Heber Valley are just breathtaking. Yeah, they are. And so that's, that's what you're looking at out in the Heber Valley. Beautiful property. Want to sell your home faster and for more money? Add full motion video with Utah's premier realtor and get that tour added to TV, the MLS, and over 10,000 different websites. And the best part is it doesn't cost anything more than working with a regular realtor. And anyone that buys or sells with me gets a complimentary moving package from Helping Hands Movers and Maids. So be sure to tune into Real Estate Essentials every Sunday afternoon at 4.30, only on ABC4, good for Utah. We were looking for a new home. Some are too big, some are too small, some are just wrong. Then, wow, we were in our dream home. Then the hard part started, all this paperwork. Luckily, we had Steve, a loan officer from Castle and Cook Mortgage on our side. Even though he's done this a thousand times, he knew we hadn't. He took care of everything, and fast, so we could focus on the things that really matter, like enjoying our new home. Castle and Cook Mortgage, the key to your castle. Zippy Shell of Utah has a new and innovative solution for your storage needs. We offer convenient, secure storage that is less work for you. We bring a storage container to your house for you to load. Once it's loaded, we'll pick it up and store it at our climate-controlled warehouse. When you're ready, we return the container to your house to unload. Right now, we are offering a storage special for only $99 a month. Please call us with any of your storage needs. Well, we've been thinking about it, and we're just not sure. I understand. We've never sold a house before. I'll walk you guys through every step. So, if we sell, do you think we can swing it? Well, I have the numbers right here, and based on the comps that I found, the timing is perfect. There are a lot of buyers for a house like yours. It's good to know. I'm so excited. <laughs> Wonderland, right? It is. That's one of the great things about Utah, isn't it? That's right. If you can have great snow, snow you're going to have great snow at your house, too. And this, we're looking out. But look at those mountains behind this property. That is a spectacular view. That's right. Utah County, we're right down here in Twin Bridges with one of the very premier subdivisions uh, in Utah County. And they're right up on the corner and off the back of this house, you're going to have, this is kind of looking from the back out the front. So that'd be your front view. Oh, yeah. And then looking at, at your, out the back of your house, if you look at these views, it perfectly frames those majestic uh, uh, Wasatch Mountains down yeah, there. And those are some of the best ones. Really? It really is. And those and that, that area is just, there's so much economic activity Boy, yeah. and good stuff happening down there. Yeah, and so these houses are really, really popular with all these executives that are coming for all these tech companies. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see as we walk into the inside of this thing, they spared no expense. They really decked it out on this house. Just spectacular. They did. If you look at all the molding and the way that they've done just the pillars and the contrast with the woodworks and, and the paint, 
it's in the home, it's really well done. Yeah, you can tell when they, when when a builder or somebody builds a home, they're either going after, you know, they sometimes economics and stuff. You can tell when somebody really put the finishing touch and they really wanted to make something special, and this is one of those. Yeah, homes. they focused on the quality yeah. without question. One yeah, the they really did with their woodwork throughout and all their detail work, and I, it's just unparalleled how much woodwork they have in this house. It's so beautiful. It is. I love the way they did that fireplace and we kind of scanned away, but that was just so beautiful with the wood and the rock and the way they put that together. Yeah, beautiful vaulted ceilings and of course the views off the back are spectacular. Head into the kitchen here, you're going to see your stainless steel appliances. Um, they, they've been talking about putting a double oven in here mm -hmm. instead of just having, they have a single in there right now, uh, but we've talked about maybe in, in this one we put that together for, uh, you know, make it right. You know, it's obviously a beautiful kitchen, very, very nice, beautiful yeah. cabinets. And the view off the back side of this, as you turn around, now when we take these, we have to shut those those blinds, but when you open this in, there's so much natural light, oh, yeah. it's just bursting. That just warms up a room. Yeah, you I know, love it. It makes it feel so homey and so inviting. Yeah, that's great because this home has so many nice features. When you add that, just that nice home feel to it, which this has, uh, makes for a very nice property. Yeah, so heading in the master bedroom on this one, and you can see it's just a beautiful space. Again, it faces to the back of the house, so you're looking at all those beautiful views out there and really good size. Well, I like the way they did that too with that sitting area out there by the windows and the way that window sits out to the side like that. Just amazing views and a nice layout here in this master. Yeah. We're gonna head here into the master bath and you can see they really tastefully designed and then put this together so well. They did. I like that the way they did those mirrors right yeah. there. That it's mirror really on cool mirror. On. Yeah, that's a really nice look. And just the granite and the wood and the contrast it just works. Okay, so we're gonna be headed into one of the many bedrooms on this one. This house has, if you need it in this many, it has nine bedrooms wow. the way it is right now. Yeah. And so it's got uh, it's got four on the main floor plus an office. And that office is a bit of a flex room that you could use as a bedroom. So theoretically, if you need five bedrooms on the main floor, you can get away with it. That is amazing. You don't see that much. No. You know? and, and then yeah. headed upstairs, it's got another two bedrooms. It's got this beautiful sitting area, right? I like that. You have those shelves right there to store your books. That's just a, that's a fun area. Yeah. And it's amazing how much your kids and just and just people will use that, those kind of little quiet right. reading areas. And this is really nice. This is one of the bedrooms upstairs. Now headed down to the basement. Okay, you'll notice the basements tend to be kind of chewed up and kind of, you know, don't have a lot of light. They mm -hmm. use steel girders to open up and span this massive uh, this space. And then they also did, so the, the windows are all daylight. And so all that, you see that light, it's yeah. almost hard to take. You feel like you're on a main level. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they've got plenty of room down there. They've got uh, some more bedrooms down there, another two bedrooms in the basement, plus this huge gym. Yeah. And head right down there. Look at this. Look you at got that. your sink, you got your fridge, and then you turn in home oh, theater. Yeah, I mean that is Super Bowl, right? No, that is that is the place where people are going to want to yeah. gather. Yeah, I mean you probably could fit at least ten people oh, inside yeah. that theater comfortably. Did you see those seats? Yeah, yeah. really comfortable. So yeah. headed into the backyard. Of course, we're dealing with a lot of snow, but they've got some really nice, uh, nice decking and a little uh, place to do barbecuing outside. And boy, look at that. Yeah. That's spectacular. Right? That is, and the views, look at that. What a great shot that is right there. Okay, Clay, for this one, we're going to be heading over to Cottonwood Heights, which is one of the most... Uh, uh, ah, one of the best neighborhoods in all of uh, Salt Lake Valley. You're right? kind of in the middle of everything. Yeah. You know, and it's just, it's a great location um, there at Cottonwood Heights and pretty sought after. Yeah. You know, I always talk about location up on the yeah. east side of uh, the Salt Lake Valley. This is one of the premier locations. Of course, this one features a really, really nice yard mm -hmm. and a spectacular backyard. And of course, the the lines on the house are just beautiful. They really are, you know, you look at that, I like the side garage, that always gives the house such a nice clean look. And when you're approaching this house, right here from the front, I think it's just a really pretty home. Um, nice snow year we've had this year. So yeah. We, yeah. So they're still showing off a lot of snow yeah. here. Uh, those trees that you can see in the front, when they fill out during the summertime, absolutely beautiful. I mean, yeah. it really adds a lot to this property. So stepping inside here, you're going to see they, they've really upgraded this house. As you can see, they've done a full remodel on this yeah. thing, really decked it out. Some great woods there. I love I love the flooring that they've chosen there to go with, and also you got the great granite countertops there. Um, and a good combination, uh, very complimentary on the coloring, the color scheme there as well. Yeah, really cool, nice mm -hmm. lines. So let's talk about uh, 
Let's talk a little bit about financing because, of course, we're going to get into kind of a jumbo type of loan yeah. on this type of property, right? Yeah, we are. Okay, so and there's some, there's some really good options out there right now, Jay. I mean, one of the ones that's really nice on this and that could really work with this home, you get that conventional pricing. They just took that jumbo loan amount to 424100 Sometimes you do the first mortgage for that and you do a second mortgage for the difference. You get the maximum of the best interest rate terms that are available on that conventional loan. And then you can also, the nice thing about that second is you can pay that off first mm -hmm. if you do that and you're just done with that one moving yeah. forward. And this has that ability to do that on this particular home where you could do that. The other one that's been really popular is we actually have one now that'll go 90% one loan and no mortgage insurance. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. It is. It makes it very affordable. So we just kind of look at their credit and income scenario and determine which one's going to be best um, given their circumstances. But, you know, this is a great home um, yeah. for that. Yeah, and things are always changing. Uh, now take a look, we're heading in here to the master bedroom, which is gonna be on the second story. It's got those beautiful views out there. And uh, yeah, real nice clean lines, cool, yeah. nice cool colors. Really open that up with the lighting in there, it really warms it up and it's yeah. just, you know, I like the way they did that. And then just great transition here into this master bathroom as well. Yeah, really nice lines, beautiful colors. You know, really like uh, toned down, but just in line with it exactly what's in style right now. Yeah, and they modernized it well and, and still has that nice warm feel at the same time. Mm -hmm. Plenty of closet space, right? There sure is. Yeah, That's pretty, always important. Yeah. Yeah. So this is going to be one of the kind of just sitting rooms that they have up there also. Look at a couple of the bedrooms. So on yeah. this house, we're going to be looking at just about 5,000 square feet. We're five bedrooms and four, uh, four baths and uh, yeah. I like that, you saw that art, you know, like in that vaulted ceiling right there in that, in that room, that extra room, and just a nice touch. They've done some nice little extra touches on this home that, that really make it desirable, I think. And this is a great room right here. Um, I've always loved that shape of a room. Yeah. It's just fun, oh yeah, I yeah. really like that. Now we're headed down here to the basement. Mm -hmm. As you can see, they've, uh, they've kind of continued a little home theater and a little place for them to work out, which is great. It's pretty spacious actually right there. Yeah, yeah. plenty of room. Five bedrooms is going to be one of the ones down in the basement here. Mm -hmm. Heading outside, you can now you can picture because we're coming into spring here pretty I know, quick. I know. Pretty quick, and this is going to be one of those backyards you're really going to enjoy during the summertime. And you can tell they set it up for that. Yeah. You know, and this was this was set up for enjoyment. You have the pool there. You gotta love that. You know, of course that'll showcase very nicely as we as that gets opened up and just some great opportunity. They've really thought about entertaining outside, and of course. Just a lot of great features there. Yeah, beautiful home. Yes. Yeah,